Hi Pisces! Thanks so much for tuning in to Divine Goddess Healing. I'm Alpha LeBray. We are going to do a collective general love reading. So this is for twin flame, soulmates, divine, divine counterparts. Um, so let's see what the energies have in store for you guys. We've got success and growth. The number eight for balance, the eternity symbol. We have master number 15, one and five is six for partnerships. This could be your partner, could be uh, Capricorn by chance, but there's a lot of success in regards to this mastery, this union, love abounds. The number one energy, new beginnings, really seeing things, the potential in um, this connection from a heart um, space, um, true happiness, fulfillment. Um, yeah, really com combining and merging of this water and earth energy and, and really bringing this love to the earth. We have giving and receiving on the bottom of the deck, number six, all about partnerships. Equal balance, I see, in, in this connection with this Capricorn energy that we have going on here. And there's a lot of reflection on your end um, towards the development of this connection with this Capricorn or this other energy. Yeah, joy and stability. You see this partner is very stable and they bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. We have rest and reconsider, the number nine. So you may be um, going through a lot of purging or transformation on your end, um, finishing out cycles, um, maybe getting out of karmic situations yourself or your partner you might be waiting on your partner to do this and it's kind of it has a little bit of a limbo energy there but we've got the release card so you're being asked to really detach release all of these um, lower energies that are holding that are weighing you down and really trust in the divine guidance and the uh, new light codes that have been activated in you you know um, the more you release, the more you're able to to really let in this loving energy, this nurturance, this light. Really seeing your true worth. So what is your Capricorn or this, this party? What is this partner up to? We have awaiting results here. So um, you really see something with this person unfolding and growing and developing. Um, but it's really in the early stages still um, of this new beginning. But there is a very solid foundation here that is built. So it's brought a lot of clarity of belief is on the bottom of the deck. So you're really able to step into the flow of the potentials. And seeing how this situation has unfolded in a positive way, how it's really developed into something beautiful. You see your partner um, really shining from within. And it's very attractive to you. Your partner's really transformed in major ways and they're really owning their power. And really letting go. We have the one and nine. So they're really um, integrating what they've learned, what they've released, and what they're allowing in. And it's, it's really reflecting back into you. And your need, your allowance of... of trusting in the universe and with these energetic shifts that are occurring. So um, 
What do you have to look forward to in the month of July with your partner? Open up. So there is going to be a lot of heart opening, but also I see this as communication. I'd say in the physical, um, because there's a lot of red, so the root chakra, there's a lot of sharing um, stories, um, situations, or beliefs really opening up to each other. Um, physically more than ever a lot of trust there's a lot of openness and trust in this connection right now yeah we have reached out so um you may not have reached out quite as much as you've wanted to to your partner yet um and but you're being supported by by the divine so I think this is all about divine timing when you feel more comfortable to open up to your partner it's going to come easily we've got believe and succeed on the bottom of the deck number six for partnerships so this this has every potential to open up into a very fruitful direction Really beautiful, really beautiful energy. So is there potential for union in the month of July with your partner? We've got balance, so I'd say that is a definite indicator right there. And we've got truth on the bottom of the deck here. So um, the more you come into balance and really believe in the positive aspects of this situation yeah we've got acceptance and awareness this is definitely union energy here balance is all about accepting being aware of all aspects of a situation and i see this as a union this is true acceptance, true friendship, really seeing each other for who you are and loving each other anyway. L loving that about each other. You know, you're seeing why maybe what was previously seen as negative, you're now seeing it as positive in your partner, that these are actually very wonderful traits that they hold. And... Um, you both are true divine counterparts. You're both very stable together. You both are very dedicated to one another. And you're in this together. There is emerging energy here. A lot of love. A lot of love. And a lot of earth energy. A lot of physical manifestation. Grounding energy. We've got duality here. So really seeing and accepting the truth, both the lights and dark within yourself and within this union, within each other. There's a lot of very vast differences that you both contain, but you balance each other in that way. You kind of make up for where the other person is lacking. You are still in a culmination phase, a growing phase, learning. So you may be going inwards. You may not be reaching out to your partner right now. But there's a lot going on in you internally that you are coming to accept and balance within yourself. In regards to this this dual energy here you're really seeing things in many um, transformational perspectives 
what your angels want you to know in regards to this love situation, this connection. Oh, love. <laughs> Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. So again, like I said, the divine wants you to feel supported. They want you to know that they're here for you and there is some fear residual in your energy because you see the power of this um and intensity of this connection it's very intimidating but there is boundless love support and energy not just from your guides but from your lover as well we have guilt do not guilt or do not you do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do from your soul's perspective there's neither right nor wrong every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom you've done nothing wrong so it sounds like you're giving yourself a guilt trip like you're just really hard on yourself in regards to maybe how this situation went down in the past um i see that your partner has a lot of love and and empathy and forgiveness for you but you're lacking that in yourself and it's really you you're really kind of become insecure and, and gone back into your shell so how how are you going to heal this? What what do you need to do to work on this, Pisces? So that you can really build the confidence you need to come to open up to your partner. Because that's what it looks like you need to do. That's what you're um, being guided to do here. They're saying it's your turn. So be true to your heart. Let me read this one from the book. I'm feeling called to, uh, to read this from the book here. So, yeah, and C is singing in the background. Push it down. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of hidden emotions that you're trying to avoid. Uh, something you're you're having a hard time with your emotions it you may be having trouble with um drinking you need to trust how much you're loved is what i'm here to tell you be true to your heart in this moment, draw on the energies of harmony and union when making a choice. The current situation is best supported using intuition, not intellect. There may be a difficult decision. There may be difficult decisions to be made that are not necessarily about love. Consciously be aware of what interests you, what attracts your attention, what stirs your imagination and creates passion in your life. Do your best to ignore the persuasions of what others might think or say. Trust yourself and don't allow your opinion to be swayed. So, you know, it looks like you are going through a lot emotionally. Um... It's hard to really step forward confidently in this in this connection because there's a lot of mistakes that maybe you've made or a feeling of like you've let your partner down. Um, really let go of those feelings and, and don't allow others to negatively persuade you or to deter you in any way or distract you with other things that really don't serve your happiness anymore. You are 
I think trying to focus too much on the wrong things to distract you from facing this. Yeah, we've got the Empress energy here. That's your partner's energy. We've got the Sun. And we've got the Three of Wands. So you're being guided. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. So you really have the internal wisdom and knowledge to make the right decisions for yourself. You've accumulated enough lessons and understanding to know the truth. You see it very clearly. You know, it's it's written very clearly, but you're just afraid to to move forward into the it looks like it's the unknown because it's something you haven't experienced before, but it's actually very clear as day to you, your spirit. You know, you're being guided by a higher light. And there's there's two threes here, so you know, this is probably a twin flame connection. Um, you're, you have a lot of intervention from a third energy, a third power, um, a uniting force. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So really, you know, um, if you're having issues with karmic situations or friends or family trying to get over on you or push you around, persuade you to, you know, do things a certain way, really have the self-respect to stand your ground, to not let people walk all over you. And we have very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, and you clearly want this union. We've got release your ex on the bottom of the deck. The time has come to clear your energy. So if you're involved in a karmic situation that might be um, creating a lot of this um, energetic static and fear, you know, um, really decide <clears throat> what you want. Clear out that old energy. Get rid of that karmic. They don't serve you. It doesn't matter if there's children involved you know, that's what co-parenting is all about, but you don't have to cave into the whims of this person. If they're not meant for you, you know, um, you need to f trust what your heart is telling you and get rid of that situation. Make very clear boundaries. And whether this person is threatening you, um financially or in some way to take you to court who knows what the situation is really stand your ground and you know don't allow that to be a block anymore for you um because if if this partnership is very true and meant to be and it's from the divine they're gonna make a way for you don't cave in to being pushed around by karmic situations that are based out of fear and manipulation and survival. You know what you're worth. You know that your that your soulmate, your twin flame, your divine counterpart, you know that this love is so real and that you really deserve to have this. You know, the divine has done so much to really clear the path and make it clear as day for you there's really no excuse at this point you know um these third parties are using everything they can because they know that they have no power so they're they're literally saying anything that they can don't fall into that trap so as far as your partner, what are they working on in the month of July? What is your partner working on? Strength. They're being strong, so they're still connected to you. Yeah, we've got justice on the bottom of the deck. I do see that they see things very clearly um, in black and white. Um, they're clearing out karmic energies on their end. 
I think for the month of July, they are finishing a lot of karmic cycles. Yeah, we've got the Two of Cups beneath that. So that's their driving force behind it. They're really driven by this love, this partnership. And they're remaining strong. They're doing everything they can in their will to close out these cycles. And in hopes that you will meet them, meet them in the middle. That you will meet them halfway. So, you know, um, really work on your end anything that you can. You know, if, if you're afraid to come forward to them or to, you know, really progress the situation, they're, they're being strong and they're waiting patiently for you to, to do your part and they're trusting that that is happening. So, so really, um, you know, trust in that, trust in their love. Yeah, we've got the four of coins here. So there's still some, uh, fears around finances and trying to keep things under control. Um, keeping too close of an eye on things. Um, your partner may be going through this. They may be um, really focusing too much on making financial moves. Uh, making sure their finances are just right so that they can close out karmic situations. We've got Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So... In the month of July, they're going to be putting an end to these situations that have caused them a lot of of mental pain, emotional pain, and anguish. Um, they see that they have put themselves through it. Even though they've wanted to blame others for so long, they see that they could have put a stop to it sooner, and so they're they're finally putting a stop to it. They've they've definitely come to a place where they realize this is not the path that they want to go and they they are ready to move forward um clearing out all of this old situations with you yeah yeah there's definitely some energy of conflict um happening focusing on the wrong things focusing too much on the negative things that could happen that could come up those just flew out of the deck here yeah we've got the eight of wands the hierophant and the mother of wands so they're in their power they're not giving up that's for sure they're getting very precise direction from the divine um may even have a very um direct um psychic communication with you there's a very deep bond here they they are uh connected with their ascended masters they're getting a lot of guidance from their spiritual teachers gurus and they're really um internalizing and integrating all of this to become that queen of wands energy so that th they're protecting this new um birth this new connection this new love they're really um i want to say they're really putting all their eggs in one basket here in regards to this connection they know that you're the one. They know that this is what they want and they're protecting it and they're doing everything they can. So in the month of July, that's what they're working on. They're really in a powerful, fiery energy full of force and action. They're, they're in a very masculine energy, really taking the lead in regards to cutting out everything that has blocked this connection and we've got the father of cups here that pisces energy and so as they uh, you both kind of mirror each other as they stand in their very stable but fiery energy you know that that passion really attracts you you really are coming into a full maturity opening your heart to this person this connection and you're both um connected by the divine 
and you both probably get a lot of synchronicities with birds. Um, you are both powerfully connected through birds. Um, there was a lot of communication psychically energetically between the two of you you really work as a team together so will you guys be coming in to this union by July by the end of July we have other center and present so I see this as coming into union of self being in the moment, staying present. We've got karma here, so the karma will be unfolding. And we have courage on the bottom of the deck. So it looks like there's still a lot of, um, there's major cycles that have to come to a close first for this to happen. Yeah, we've got fearless. So, and we've got power. Wow, so there's a lot of powerful energy that is going to bring a major close in all the situations surrounding this union there's a lot of courage and fearlessness that you're going to have to tap into i see your counterpart is really in this energy and it's it's kind of a driving force um propelling you to step into your power as well um, but you guys are really divinely protected and guided through higher energies. Okay, Ganesha is here, is, is really helping to close out these karmic cycles and ending any energies that are standing in the way. There's a lot happening on your behalf. Yeah, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We still have release your ex on the bottom of the deck, so listen up. All right, so, you know, um, in regards to what's kind of keeping things at a distance is, is this financial situation here, trying to get all everything lined up and in order. Your partner may be um, really working on advancing their career, getting more money. Um, they may be working on stabilizing a home for the two of you to come together. We have breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. Okay, so break free from your own self boundaries, your own fears. These are illusions. This is what is holding you guys back are these continuous fears that are getting in the way. You are on the right direction. What does your lover want you to know? Well, Two just flew out. I don't even know where the other card went. It just kind of... It may have flew under the couch. Let's read this one. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So if you're going through a really hard time, Pisces, you got to trust that everything is aligning, okay? There is a lot of transformation that is happening in your connection right now, and you've just got to trust that you're on the right path. And we have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and all will work out. So let go of that third party. You know, it's not worth it. There's no love there surrender let go of the old this will all come in when we're ready 
okay we have the lead take that lead stand in your power stand in your strength your fearlessness and you know really step up you know because your your partner is they're being strong they're they're doing everything that they can to bring this together and all they need is is you to to match them to match their energy to to make these changes we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so they're really pulling you in this will not leave the bottom of the deck though like come on that's that's the major thing i think that's going on here that's blocking this this is what's creating this fear you gotta let go you know let go of the old make way for new you know it's it's been beyond time manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so that is your final message okay your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance okay guys like there's nothing but positivity on the other side of this i do feel that by the end of july moving into august there will be some resolution here to this situation yes we've got the star so that that is confirmation right there that all your miracles your dreams are going to manifest you know right now it might be trying times but trust that you know the use the universe is really um helping there there's so many major cycles coming to an end in july in this connection so please stay faithful okay guys thanks so much for tuning in if you'd like to send me a love donation or to request a personalized reading to work one-on-one -on -one with me in a healing session um i do provide light language healing sessions as well as um artwork that you can adorn in your home workspace or um meditation area uh, if you want major help and assistance in your outer world um in your homes you know um my art page is on my etsy shop shamanic alchemy art and it's highly transformational and i have placed a lot of very intense um specific energies okay into all of my art so whatever you are drawn to is meant for you spiritually it's going to help really rectify and and create major manifestations so you know self-investment is is highly recommended if you're going through a very spiritual um purging and awakening and and need that extra boost of help i'm really telling you that that is going to make a huge drastic difference in your world and you won't regret it i am new to youtube so if you resonated with this reading please like subscribe and share i haven't uh, been able to do as many readings starting out because i've had such an intense healing and transformation myself this year so you know i do plan to do a lot more readings so please help me out here if you if you resonate with these readings thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you guys um enjoyed your rating and that it will help give you that boost of energy and inspiration that you've been needing thank you so much take care guys bye